Hey world, it's been when to come back to another video. In fact, I want to come back to this video because I just want to just give a little food for thought in reference to, you know, family members out there that have, you know, monies that's sitting in the bank that since you watch my videos, you know that your money is losing value. And you think, thinking, what can I do? Especially when you get, you know, my age group a little older, a little younger. But you want to protect your income. You want to protect your funds. All right? And so you got to ask yourself, how can I, you know, protect my money during times of crisis? How can I protect my money, you know, without having it all in a 401k, right? Where I know once the market crashes, I'm going to lose the majority of my money, a high percentage of my money. And some of you guys have 401ks, you know what I'm talking about. But I did want to come back with this little information about something called index funds. Okay. Now, I know a lot of you guys that, you know, are interested in investing and you want to make your money, make money, right? Well, right now the market, and I, and I just kind of want to give you a scenario so you kind of know exactly how your money is actually going to build, you know, build and compound interest. Well, in March of this year, the stock market pretty much crashed almost 18,000 points. The Dow Jones got to 18,000 points, okay? S&P 500 dropped. The NASDAQ dropped, right? Now, if you were to purchase an index fund, okay, what they call an S&P 500 index fund, an all-market index fund, right? Then they also have something called an all-bond market index fund. Well, during times like now where the equities or the stock market is at its highest, any individual that's invested in an index fund have seen their investment grow drastically. I mean, just the other day, Trump was just saying how the Dow Jones have gained 50% since March. Now, what does that mean? That means if you, if you invested money into the stock market, into an index fund, just put you $10,000, $5,000, $1,000, however much in a particular all-market index fund or S&P 500 index fund, you've seen your money rise tremendously. No bank is going to give you that type of return on your money. Okay? No bank. And so, you know, I'm not into gambling, but I am into you know, making sure that the money that you do have, you're just not sitting in the bank because the banks are robbing you. I mean, think about it now, family. I mean, Congress is on vacation. They don't come back to September. And they still haven't come up with uh, an agreement between Congress and the executive office, which is the president, to help the American people during this drastic time of pandemic, during this, during the worst, one of the worst times I know in my lifetime. I've never, you know, no, I've never had a situation where 40, 45 million people lost their jobs because they were sent home. Okay? And people are losing their homes. You know, the rental properties, landlords are losing money, losing property because the residents, the people they have in their homes can't pay the rent. It's a trickle-down effect. This has never happened before. And Congress is on vacation. Talking about the executive office, President Trump, you know, and them cannot come up with agreement because they don't respect their values. These are the same individual people that are millionaires. Understand, everybody in Congress is a millionaire. Don't get it twisted. Why do you think they want certain things to happen in certain demographics? Okay. I mean, the Democrats, they want the states to fail. Right now, you know, in the district I'm working in, and in a lot of districts around the nation, if you didn't even know, in Massachusetts, not recently in Massachusetts, they just fired a lot of PE and, and uh, art teachers, elective teachers, because the state said they didn't have the money in the, in the in the budget. So because the pandemic, them shutting the schools down, and parents deciding they don't want their kids to go back to school, teachers are losing their jobs. But the foreign immigrant employment rates are going up. That's interesting. How is it that teachers are losing jobs, but foreign workers are gaining employment? And how is it that, and if you just look at who's on the board of a lot of these companies, 
that's hiring a lot of you know foreigners, that's allowing uh, you know teachers, police officers, firefighters to lose their job, not because the money isn't there. Let's not get it twisted. Remember, the CARES Act, each state got $1.25 billion. Some states got more. We got $14 billion in Texas. How can you not accommodate all the teachers' salaries? How can you not accommodate all the students that need internet, laptop services, virtual learning devices? How? How is that justifiable? And now, you know, teachers, if students don't participate in online learning, teachers are going to lose their jobs. They're going to get pay cuts. Because this whole online learning thing wasn't designated to have an entire community or entire country of students, public students, to do this. This is not what it's designed to do. Online learning is supposed to be a choice where if, you know, if your if your learning style is you know more conducive to being at home, maybe you know you know maybe you have some underlying health issues, you know that you you know it doesn't allow you to go to school, right? So online learning is a great alternative, but when you have ninety to 80, 80 to ninety percent of the population have to do online learning, and that's not conducive to learning or teaching, how you expect that people to to Conform to that. Like, so, you know, how? It's just not how I go. You know? And so, pay yourself first, family. And because I'm telling you, if you don't know anything about index funds, I would definitely make sure you look into that. Make sure you pay yourself first. Because, like I said, there's no such thing as money. Why do you think they're saying there's a shortage of coins? See, once they take out the essence, the presence of coins and paper money, then you understand what I mean by money doesn't really exist. It's just algorithms. It's your energy. It's what you put those numbers into. And if you just leave them in a bank account, a savings account, it's not going to grow. Your whole objective is to make sure those numbers grow so that you'll be able to purchase real tangible assets. And remember, you never really own land. You're going to always have to pay ground rents, you know, in the form of property taxes. You never really own your car because you always have to pay for insurance and registration taxes every year, tax title, like all that kind of stuff, right? But what you want to do is make sure that in this existence, you have something tangible that can allow you to have a lifestyle that's going to allow you to not only be healthy, Right but allow you to, to accumulate some wealth for you, your children, your children's children to be able to sustain a certain lifestyle. Okay? And I promise you, consciousness and enlightenment is the best gift you can ever grant yourself or your children. Because once they become enlightened and understand what's really going on, it won't be, a, it won't be difficult for them to look into different options. Not just put their money in a bank account. Understand that, you know what, according to the stock market and to uh, investments, why would I just want to invest in one or two companies when I can invest in the whole market in one particular fund and watch my profits grow or watch my return on my investments grow every quarter? And then once I'm, you know, because I'm on tune and I'm paying attention, then I'm going to know when to actually sell those index funds and put them in cash before the market crashes. If you're at a certain age group, if you're young, you can ride it out, but we always got to be conscientious of what we have going on with investments. Okay. So if I just want to come back with a food for thought, I uh, want you to basically like say for entertainment purposes only, but if you have some extra cash, please look into investing in index funds, not just any index funds, index funds that track in the whole market. The S&P 500 index fund, the all market index fund, the all inter, uh, international market index fund, and well as the bo all bond market index fund. That's all you need. So if you're young, man, you saving money, put money toward the index fund and watch it grow. Okay? Save your income. All right? So, family, I hope this uh, video resonates with you. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. 
I uh, love the uh, opportunities you guys have given me to speak this knowledge and uh, make sure you uh, let your friends and family know. You know, YouTube, they ain't really cool on cats that's dropping knowledge, okay? So in the meantime, between time, many more times, I'm sorry to bring you joy and being with us out of 5,000.